Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos and today I am going to be doing the blindfolded drawing challenge. Let's get this other camera going and I've got my blindfold here. It's a cute panda. For this challenge I'm going to be using my Pentel brush pen and I am a bit scared to use this one just because when you put pressure on the pen the lines get thicker. Um, so I guess we'll see how I go with that. And I also wanted to put some colour down, so I've got my Peelers watercolour palette here. So today I'm going to be drawing Alice from Disney's Alice in Wonderland. So let's start with the head. Um, let's get the side of her face down. Then we've got a nose and a mouth. Let's get some eyes in. This is really difficult with my Pentel brush pen because I don't know how hard I'm pressing. Another eyebrow there, so I think her face is in. And then she has kind of lumpy hair if that makes sense. So let's do like her fringe bangs things and then a headband and then she's got more hair there let's put her neck in and then her dress and she does have kind of like an apron thing So that's going to go about here. And we should probably give her some arms. And her hands. I'm going to be lazy with the hands just because I can. So that her hands are going to be like, she's going to be like holding her hands like that or something. Um. And I think that's pretty much it. That was very quick. Well, let's go and colour her. So we'll put my... Oh gosh. Put my brush pen away. I got it. And I've got my water pens here. That one's the fine tip. And this is the one that I want. So let's start with her dress. So I know the blues are down here. Let's go with that one. Let's pick up some colour. Try and get a lot. And I don't remember where I drew her on the page, but we're gonna guess probably in here. And for her dress. Obviously, like, the blue part is only, it's kind of like underneath the apron thing. So we need to get it over there on the side, and the rest is going to be white. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, and let's wash this. Get all of the blue out. And let's go for her hair. So I think yellow was the third row down. So we've got one, two, three. Let's go this one here. I really hope I'm not wrecking my <laughs> watercolors. Alrighty. So, oop. I can actually feel where it's wet there, so her hair must be a bit above here. And then you've got her yellow, blonde, it's kind of more yellow I think, hair. And like I said before, it's kind of lumpy. Oh gosh, I really hope my Pentel brush pen isn't smearing. Um, so we've got her fringe bits. 
and then that should be the rest of her hair done. And I think I'm gonna leave it there. I don't really want to try her skin just because I don't have like one particular flesh color with the watercolor palette. I have to use kind of like a really diluted um, orange. Where did I put that tissue for? Did it fall? I have no idea where it is. Okay, well, I can't wash this paintbrush. Um, or should I try some skin? I don't remember where the skin colours are. Let's go this one. But it's very diluted, so... Put the... Is that the hair? So let's put a... Face... There... Neck... And then her... Arms... Alrighty, so... I think we are done. That was a lot quicker than I thought it would be actually. I did want to choose something relatively easy to draw that wouldn't take too long. Um, so let's take off my blindfold. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh wow. That eye there is actually really good. <laughs> my eyes are like all watery. You can see I've managed to actually get like the dress shape in there. Her face is just a bit off. I don't even know where I put that tissue that I was cleaning my brush on. I was right, I did drop that tissue. Overall, I'm actually pretty impressed with my blindfolded drawing. Obviously, it isn't going to be good at all. Um, I don't know anybody who can draw blindfoldedly. I am really happy with that eye though. Um, and I feel like if someone saw this, they'd probably be able to guess that it's Alice from the Disney's Alice in Wonderland. So yeah, I think I did a pretty good job. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel either. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. It was just like kind of different ways to draw things and that kind of thing, but it was pretty fun. And then we've got some more exercises. So here it's like really faint. That one's quite blended. That one's actually shaded using...